Hi, I'm Dustin, the creator of RapidRig, and in these tutorials, we'll be going through RapidRig Modular and uh, version 3. And in this one, I'll be looking at the arm. So in the previous video, we added the spine for their character, and here we're going to add our arm. So make sure to check where you want the arms to come off. Usually that should come off the top of the uh, spine. And I can go in here and I'll just use a default of arm. And in here I can choose if I want to have a clavicle or not. So generally arms should have clavicles, but again, depending on your character, you may not want them. If you had like something robotic, like say you're doing C-3PO, he doesn't really have any clavicle movement as one example. And then we have our twist joints. So generally I recommend twist joints, especially for the lower part of the arm. Um, if you don't even have one twist joint in the arm, it's going to deform really weird. So I'm going to set this to say two and two. Uh, we'll look at the elbow joints in the leg because the leg has uh, knee joints and it's basically the same but we'll look at it for the leg It'll be a better example so here's my uh, joint that I want to attach so I select that first give these settings and if I want to have two arms so you can do like noodly arms you can toggle that on and off and then we could do either a left arm or right arm or a pair of arms so I'm going to choose a pair and I'll go create and here we get our arms so we get the um, the parent node similar to what we have here so you can move this around and scale it you know move the whole thing and here we have the same thing so the the parent module no bone gets generated there but they kind of move everything so I'm going to tuck this in and bring it up and I'm only going to do this on one side because we can mirror stuff which we'll go over in another video so I'm going to move my clavicle kind of maybe a bit higher yeah, I'll just bring this up a little bit more somewhere like that and my clavicle will come forward a little bit and I'll position my shoulder in there again I'm not going to spend too much time on getting the placement just right but we'll kind of put in the center of the mass and then uh, I'll grab the wrist and bring that down over here And I'll get that lined up somewhere in the hand. Like that. Now, uh, one thing that's really important is for the elbow to be planar. So uh, here's the elbow here. And I'm going to back it up and then push it into place. Now, one thing to be aware of is if you move this up or down, that will show you the angle that the elbow will bend at. So I'm going to bring mine down a little bit and you may have to go back to the model and make some changes. If you find that, you know, you're getting too much of a bend in the elbow or like it's, it's angled too weird. So to me, that's not bad. A little bit down, I'll probably be bringing it way down here. Then it's going to get quite a bit more bend, which may not be what I'm going for. So again, you may have to make a pass. There is this angle offset attribute I've added, but this, I generally don't recommend it because it's still going to cause weird offsets. So generally you want to have the arm built pretty straight. Okay, uh, so that's basically the arm, kind of the landmarks you want to do. So in the next video, I will be going through uh, the leg. 